Welcome back to HLN Now. There's a, a video out that's getting a lot of clicks, deservedly so. It's the White House teaming up with some A-list celebrities. And this isn't about politics. This is about stopping rape on college campuses. Let's watch. We have a big problem, and we need your help. It's happening on college campuses, at bars, at parties, even in high schools. It's happening to our sisters and our daughters. Our wives and our friends. It's called sexual assault, and it has to stop. We have to stop it. So listen up. If she doesn't consent, or if she can't consent, it's rape, it's assault. It's a crime. It's wrong. If I saw it happening and I was taught, you have to do something about it. If I saw it happening, I speak up. If I saw it happening, I'd never blame her. I'd help her. Because I don't want to be a part of the problem. I want to be a part of the solution. We need all of you to be part of the solution. This is about respect. It's about responsibility. It's up to all of us to put an end to sexual assault. And that starts with you. Because one is too many. There it is, and that's the campaign. One is too many. You saw the stars there, the president and the vice president. Here's why. If you start looking at the statistics of what's going on here, let me go through some for you. Uh, sexual assault on college campuses. One in five women will be sexually assaulted in college. Freshmen and sophomores, more likely. Let's move on to the next full screen. A couple of interesting statistics there. Only 5% of attempted and complete rape reported to police. 5%, 80 to 90% of the cases, the victim and assailant know each other. This is a problem. It has to be dealt with. When we come back, we're going to talk to a sexual assault survivor, Haley Chadwick, hear her story and also get her take. Is this effective? What's the best way to stop this? It's coming up. Stay with us. Thank you for your courage, for sharing your story. I know it must be difficult, but know you are uh, making a difference. Let, let's hear your story first. Uh, it's the way I gather it is after you graduate high school in that summer, then you're sexually assaulted. And these were people you knew, right? Yes, yes, it was. It was the summer before I began college. And like the statistics said, I was one of those five women that was assaulted. And it was by two boys that I knew. They graduated with me from my high school. I knew them my whole life. And no one expects to be assaulted by people they know. But when you put yourself in a situation and in the party environment, that unfortunately is what happened to me. And with it being people that I know, it just it caused so many problems with trust mm. in myself and with the world that it truly affected me throughout my entire college career. I'm sure. Did you report it? Was it hard to talk about and tell somebody because it was people you knew? Or how did you go about it? It was very hard. I actually didn't report it, and I did not tell anyone until about a year after it happened. After going through therapy for about a year and strong, strong counseling, going through post-traumatic stress disorder counseling. It wasn't until then that I was even able to say the words out loud. Wow. You know, there's a, a report and that 50% more sexual assault cases are, report, are, are up, basically, and, and the, if there's a silver lining and all that, it's the more being reported. And, and that's what we're getting from the president's office. And that's, I'm sure that's one of your messages. Uh, heaven forbid yeah. something were to happen, but if it does, report it, right? Don't. Exactly. Don't just hold it in. I mean, we all want justice served so it doesn't happen to somebody else. Yes, that's why I speak on this. I'm so passionate about it because I didn't report it. I was too scared because I knew the people. I was too ashamed. I felt like it was my fault because mm. of the circumstances. And I want to make sure that no woman or any victim ever feels like that again. Yeah, you know, you, we'd mentioned the statistic on that. 80 to 90% of these cases, the victim knows the assailant. I want to show you a public service announcement that was done previously. It's really powerful, and just get your take on it. Uh, it's a guy watching himself really get too aggressive on a date, and it turns into date rape. Here it is. Let's get downstairs for a bit. Come on. Yeah, a bit. Stop being weird. Oh. 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 Oh.
Uh, Haley, how powerful are all messages like that one or the one where we have the celebrities teaming up at the White House? I think that message especially is extremely powerful. It almost brought me to tears, honestly. I'm sure. Just thinking there were people there when it happened to me. And if somebody would have mm. stepped in, they knew it was wrong. But, you know, immaturity or in, in the circumstance itself, they didn't feel that they had the power to stop it. And watching that bystander, you know, saying stop, she doesn't want right. it. It's extremely powerful. And that's that's so much of what needs to happen today. Yeah, absolutely. It's Haley, thank you again for your courage.